What's going on guys? Welcome to your 36th Android tutorial. Again with me, Travis, of my bring back. And quickly, just to talk about uh, how we drew this bitmap to the canvas because it's a little bit different than what we've done before. And I realized I, realized I didn't really explain it in the last tutorial uh, too well why we're using rectangles and all this business. What's up with that? Um, basically, again, uh, this first rectangle is going to define what we want to cut out of our sprite sheet. So what I did, for example, before this was 0, 0, um, and we drew our whole bitmap to the screen, I changed it to be 100, 100. So basically that's going to cut in about halfway through, and then uh, the bottom, or it's going to start about in the middle, and then it's going to go to the width and uh, down, you know, the height as well. So that's what's going to be displayed. Now, of that section that we cut out, we can also scale that up and down, um, make it larger or smaller according to however big we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we want it from our X value and our Y value. So this is going to draw the top left corner to our canvas at the X value and the Y value. Currently it's set to 0, 0 at the beginning. And then we're going to go over to the right and down. Uh, we're going to scale it according to the, the width so again this would be 256 and the height so 256 down as well so basically what I did I changed this 100 to 100 just for example and as you can not see cool uh, let me run this again so as you can see it's it's cut off a lot of our picture but it's also scaled that picture up so that's kinda of what those two rectangles are and why we use this method of the draw bitmap and we'll get into that a little bit later um, more in depth when we're actually cutting out our sprite sheet to how we want to cut it out. But now what we want to do is we want to have this square bounce off the corners and basically walk around the edge of our screen here. So I'm going to change this back to be zero, uh, 0. And all we're going to do is within this draw method, again we're in our sprite class here, uh, within this draw method we're going to create a new method called update which is a pretty standard kind of uh, method when you're working with animation and sprites. So we're going to create this method called update and this method is going to get called every time our draw method is going to get called. And again our draw method is going to get called all the time because this method gets called within our loop over on our, on our view class over on our surface view example class. Uh, again you know because we're in this thread here and it keeps calling this draw method which calls this you know method here which calls our sprite draw method so it's going to be called consistently and all we're going to do is for example we can say our x position is equal to x um, plus you know our x speed but we can also just do it uh, the shorthand way uh, plus equal x speed so now our x value is going to be um, basically whatever our x value is plus whatever speed we want to add to it so it's going to add 5 each time it calls this update method and then we're also going to set up a y value uh, to be, you know, something like this. And if we ran it right now, it'd still be pretty much the same because it wouldn't be moving. And that's because I set up this, um, I wasn't intending to do the sprite and sprite animation. So I kind of set up uh, our surface view example class not the best way. Um, so what's happening now is every time this run method gets called it's creating a new sprite which within our sprite class it sets our x and y values to be zero so it's never actually going to move because these are always going to be called and it's always going to reset the x and y values to be zero so what we're going to do is we're going to surround this with the if statement and a boolean value uh, within our run method kind of like we did here to check if our surface was valid um, so I'm going to scroll up to our view class here and we're just again going to set up a new value. I'm going to copy this here. And we're going to say, um, we're going to say sprite loaded. And we're going to set this equal to be false to start out with. And because our sprite is not loaded, but the first time this gets called, that we're going to set this trigger to be true. Hopefully, I'm not moving too fast here. Uh, you guys can kind of mess around with the code before you put this in and you can see how it just kind of stands still still and that's because uh, again um, well I'll let you figure it out I think I kind of already explained it uh, but there we go um, so we set up this boolean value and we're just going to set up an if statement around our sprite 
uh, creation. So we're going to say if sprite uh, loaded. And we're going to set that within parentheses. And right now this would be false, so it would not even, uh, so it wouldn't even call uh, this to even create. So we get an error. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an exclamation mark here. So we're going to say if this is equal to be false, which it is, then it's going to uh, allow us to create a new sprite. And then all we're going to do is we're going to set our sprite loaded to be true. So I know I'm moving kind of fast here, but they're all kind of concepts we've already discussed. Uh, so let's just check this out, make sure it works, and we're going to jump back over into the sprite class as that's loading. So we're going to scroll down, go to our graphics class, and as you can see it moves off to the right. Uh, now it's not bouncing off the screen or anything, it just keeps on going because again each time it loops it's adding our x and our y speed and our x speed is just plus five and our y speed zero so it's always going to go off to the right. So now what we want to do is we kind of want to add some control to this update method. See if it bounces off the left wall, bounces off the right wall, bounces off the bottom and then we'll adjust our x and our y speed accordingly. So the first method that we're going to do is we're going to try and make it bounce off of you know this wall and start going down or once it hits this wall it's going to go down. So what we want to do is again our sprite is like this for example we want to get the width of our sprite we also want to get the width of our canvas and we also want to get the speed that it's going so we can check if the width minus what our uh, let me just uh, type it out and then explain it. Hopefully you'll kind of understand this if if you guys are new to any kind of programming with graphics and stuff. It might be kind of confusing, um, but just look at it, test it, play around with it after the tutorial's done, and you'll kind of understand how this how these work. Um, but we're gonna say if the x value is less than, or I'm sorry, is greater than uh, R view, or I'm sorry, sorry, O V. Again, this is the canvas size or our view that we're getting passed in uh, within our constructor. We're going to say we're going to get the width minus the width of our bitmap uh, minus the x speed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set our x speed to be zero because it hit that wall, and our y speed to be five, so it starts going down. So again, all this is doing is this value is checking the width of our canvas minus the width of our bitmap because again our bitmap is drawn at the top left corner so if the right side hits we want to kind of adjust for the width of our bitmap and then minus the actual speed that's going because again we don't want it to overshoot a little bit so then all we're going to do is we're going to say hey we don't want it to go horizontally anymore so we're going to change the x value to be zero and we're going to set up the y value to be five so it's going to start heading down so the next thing that we want to do is we want to check if it bounces off the bottom so it's going to go over bounce and start heading down it's pretty much the same concept so we're just going to say if y is greater than the ov or our view dot get height minus the height value of our bitmap minus our y speed then what we're going to do, well, we're going to set our x speed to be equal to negative 5. So it's going to start going backwards. And our y speed to be 0. And then these last two are pretty easy, um, quite simple here. So now all we're going to do is we're going to say if, and this time we're going to do a little bit different, a little bit simpler here. So we're just going to say the x value plus the x speed is uh, that is less than zero we're gonna set x to be equal to zero because we if it overshot we want to readjust it so it's at zero and we also want the x speed to be zero and we also want the y speed to be uh, negative five so hopefully you kind of understand that as well Again, we're just readjusting if it overshot. Then we're just setting our x value to be 0 and our y value to be negative 5. So it's going to start going up our screen. And then lastly, uh, we want to say if y plus, again, like y speed or something, 
uh, or I'm sorry, plus y speed is less than zero as well, we are going to set the y value equal to zero, uh, the, the x speed equal to five, and the y speed equal to be zero. So that will shoot it off to the right again. And then after all these methods are called, that's when we do our updating of our position, our x and our y position. Save this and run it. And as you can see now, it somewhat bounces off the screen and it looks pretty close. Um, as you can see, we could probably adjust this a little bit better, um, but you know, it works pretty well. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Again, we haven't actually broken down our sprite sheet into the individual pieces yet, but we can get to that later. Actually, we'll get to it in the next tutorial. So thanks again for watching, guys, and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're learning a little bit. If you guys are still confused, just kind of mess around with these, these methods. Try and come up with some of your own to get them doing crazy patterns and stuff like that. Um, but again, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a good one.